reviewing this awesome skateboard and in today's video I will be reviewing how to locate everything on your board, tips and tricks, safety measures, and the design on the back of our board. So let's get started. And just a disclaimer before I start this video, this is not a how-to tutorial on how to use a skateboard or anything like that. So if you want more tips and tricks, I would recommend you to go over to Braille Skateboarding because we have awesome videos to get your ollies learning how to push and break on your skateboard. So first things first is we want to see the design on the back of the board. So first of all, you can go to a local skate park to see the designs, you can loosen your trucks. But for this skateboard, we have a zombie. So flip our skateboard over. This is our zombie and it says zombie at the bottom right here. I would really like to skateboard for Halloween because it would be awesome to take to the skate park and designing on your skateboard is pretty awesome and it's actually something really unique to your skateboard. So you have to choose something custom to you. Okay, now let's get to locating everything on the board. So let's start with the top and simple. This black part feels just like asphalt or a road or pavement and it's called grip tape. Now, if you see these screws right here, we have four screws to hold in our trunks. This is what keeps your wheels on and you can loosen these and I'll say that in detail later. So you can buy grip tape when this one wears out and you can buy new screws and bolts afterwards. So on the back of our skateboard, this is mostly the most important part because a board is normal. This is the most important. Our wheels, that's how you transport on your skateboard. We have a bolt and you can like tighten and loosen your trunks. I'll leave those materials in the link in the description box so you can get those. We have the wheels that turn. Now these wheels are different from other skateboards because some skateboards have more rubber and thick wheels or like, like a penny board wheel. But these are just normal wheels and we have them on both sides and you can loosen and like tighten each one. If you're a beginner, I would recommend tightening your trunks first so you don't turn all around. So let's get on to tips and tricks. Now I did not say this on locating everything on your board because this is saved for tips and tricks. We need to know and precisely what is the nose and the tail. Now with this skateboard and how it's designed, it's pretty easy to locate them. So the nose and the tail are the end parts of your skateboard. So right here, we have our skateboard and the design is what's gonna help you. Since the moon and the zombie is looking up, this would be the nose, which is the front part of your skateboard. The tail would be where it says zombie. And I'll be linking the skateboard in the description so you can get your own copy and it's awesome. Remember that skateboarding isn't easy. Skateboarding comes with lots of things that can mean injuries, it means spending money, and lots of time and practice. Now, if you're just wanting to get a kickflip or turning in the air like you see on the X Games or something, what happens is skateboarding means lots of practice and you can't just go right away for that ollie or a drop in. So remember that before you do anything with skateboarding and remember if you're willing to learn first without getting yourself too hurt, then we can go and move on to the tricks and more advanced stuff. The next tip I would give for a skateboard is always do it on a flat surface and avoid cracks. Anywhere you go, it doesn't matter if it's a paved greenway, if it's the road outside of your house, it's your driveway or a skate park. One thing I would say is stay away from cracks because cracks can actually have lots of accidents. When I'm skateboarding, if I see a crack, I'd rather stop and not fall face first. So that's one big tip. Second of all, since I'm not a very good skateboarder, I'm not advanced, I'm more of a beginner. So the best thing you can do is road. Third thing is tricks don't come easily. So here's a, a good tip. Try it on grass first and then go on to the road. If you're not too confident to go onto pavement, grass is very, really well to use, like learning on your skateboard. But don't get too used to grass because grass will comfort your wheels. And what happens with that is that your wheels basically get stuck like if you were in a crack. So now when you get on, if you're doing a drop in, basically this is gonna happen. So you're gonna roll side to side. So if you're going outside, just remember to be confident in yourself. The next thing is authority. And that's just not a tip and trick, but it's also a safety measure. In many places, if you go to a local store that has stairs, it's definitely gonna say no, no scooters, no hoverboards, no skateboards, no roller skates or roller blading. If you actually don't have anywhere to go, I would definitely make sure you go to a skate park or an indoor skate park. Now that we've gone over tips and tricks, let's go over to safety. First safety rule is being confident in yourself. That's the one thing you need to know when skateboarding. If you're not confident you can do an ollie, you're not confident that you can ride on your skateboard for a long period of time, 
Well, that means you won't be able to do it. Always be confident and persevere through thoughts that might have fear. Next thing is always wear protection, mostly when you're a beginner, because beginners tend to fall more, and you will fall during a skateboard journey, but still, you, you're gonna fall, and if you go on ramps, you can fall on your head. So helmets, having like a chest pad, having like hand grips, having shoulder pads and knee pads are perfectly fine. Next safety thing I would see, is clothes and when i say clothes is meaning what you wear mostly as a beginner because clothes comes in handy especially when you just start the first day long sleeves and pants with high tops so that was definitely a big thing i would say because if you fall you don't want to skin your knee or skin your elbow next thing are shoes and shoes actually come in handy i will link vans in the description vans are the awesome shoes for skateboarding they're actually made for skateboarding and if you want to see a trailer or a clip on that, I will link that one too in the description. Now that we've gone all over the skateboarding process and journey, I'm going to show you sometimes I wanted to fall on a skateboard, sometimes I actually did good and actually ride it in a long period of time. Remember, skateboarding isn't easy. I hope you enjoyed this video if you want more information on this product. As I said, the link will be in the description box down below, included with vans, things for your skateboard, and personalization and awesome stuff down there so remember to go into the description box give this video a thumbs up watch this video over and over again comment and share and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below thank you for watching bye skateboard out when you first start skateboarding you're probably not going to be that good because you need time yes that is true you need time to get comfortable on your board but do not feel discouraged because practice makes perfect yes the more you skate, the better you get.